everybody, welcome to episode one of a series I'm calling The Workshop Diaries. So these are going to be a series of more relaxed videos of us doing work on cars. As you know, a lot of the videos I do are how-to videos and those do really well. But I want to try and take a different approach now that we've got the unit and basically create more relaxed videos, just keeping a bit of us having a laugh and a joke while working on the cars and just bring you some more content that's a bit more relaxed and not so much an instructional video because I enjoy watching that content and I enjoy creating that content as I did with the Christmas special. If you haven't watched that already, make sure you click over there somewhere. So yeah, I'm calling this series The Workshop Diaries. Um, I hope you enjoy. So the first victim is Chelsea's Mini. She's been moaning that it needs brakes for a while and the brake pedal, she said, just goes a lot further than it used to. Uh, and then it started making a horrible scraping noise on the front left. So we brought her in here the other week uh, and I took the wheel off. And yeah, there's like minus brake pads left. There's literally nothing on there, metal on metal, and it started to dig into the discs. So to be fair to it, we've had the car for nearly two years now and we've never had to do the brakes on it. So it's done quite well, really. Um, I don't know how worn they were when we bought it, but there we go. I've got front and rear disc pads and sensors. Um, we're going to be installing them today, hopefully everything goes straight forward um, and yeah, just going to give the car a bit of a once over because it's MOT is due in January and um, just see if there's anything and I have a spare wiper motor from when I replaced my boot if you want to watch that video, click up over here somewhere so I'm going to replace it because it's not going to cost us anything and yeah, hopefully it'll be alright so parts wise, I've ordered Rydex discs and Stark pads I've used Rydex discs on my Mini. Um, I use Rydex pads on my Mini as well, but um, use these on mine and never had an issue. So I'm quite happy to use them again. If you're wondering where I buy the parts from, it's a website called Autodoc. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And I'll chuck it on screen down here now. So pretty much what that website is, is it's a company based in Germany, I wanna say. And you can get OEM parts from Autodoc and they'll ship them to you. It takes about a week two weeks to get them shipped to you so if you need something quickly it's not ideal um, but if it's something like this where you can wait for two weeks and you'll save yourself 50 quid in the process then yeah worth it i also just quickly want to say that's not an advertisement at all um, they've not paid me to say that this is just genuinely who i buy my car parts off of and it's who i advise anyone that asks me or my mates and whoever to buy their car parts from and that's why i do it um, it's a genuinely good website with good prices, it's really easy to understand. Yeah, so that's it for the really long intro. Let's get cracking on installing the brakes onto the car. So if you're here to learn how to change the brakes on your Mini, this isn't the video for you, but I do have a video for you. If you click on the iCard over in that corner, or this corner, I can never remember, um, you can watch an in-depth video on how to change your brakes. This is just gonna be you guys watching me change the brakes. Uh, Owen's on his way down, so we'll be having uh, a bit of a laugh and whatever while we're doing it. Obviously, I'm going to show you more of just sort of a far away perspective, me changing some brakes, but uh, I'm not going to be showing you exactly what to do to change them uh, just because I've done that before, and there's a much better dedicated video on how to do that. But first things first, I'm going to crack off the lug nuts on this front left wheel. This is the worst one. Uh, I'm just going to work around, so from this front to that front and then the backs. Just going to do them one at a time because there's no point jacking it all up and doing them all at once.
Okay, so I've got the front near side wheel off, the passenger side wheel. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but the brakes are severely um, like pitted now. Like if you rub your finger across it, you can feel all of these marks. Um, so obviously they're a write-off, but we knew that anyway. So plan of action is take the caliper off. There's two uh, hex bolts there. Uh, then we're going to take this caliper carrier off. There's two bolts for that. Uh, then once all of that's out of the way, take the retaining screw out for the disc, which hopefully is not going to give us too much aggro. Take the disc off, clean it all up with a wire brush, chuck everything back on, chuck copper grease on stuff. Happy days. Okay, so I've got a wire brush, I've got a couple of spanners, 10, 13, 16. I've also got a small socket set. If I need anything else, I can just go and grab it. It's not a problem. Uh, that's the beauty of being in the unit. Um, so let's start by cracking these off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the wheel uh, full lock left just so I can get access to everything nice and easy and uh, yeah, go from there. Now I've got easy access to everything, I'm going to get cracking. So I don't know how well you can quite see that, but someone's really gone to town on the uh, the slider bolt. I managed to take the whole caliper assembly off by removing the two 16mm bolts that go through the caliper carrier um, into the hub. Took them off and the whole assembly's come off, but I do need to get this pin out. Um, but yeah, as I said, somebody's pretty much just whacked away at it and it's a lot bigger than it should be. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out and then I'll be back. So I managed to loosen it. Just had to hammer um, the same hex bit as before into there um, and it just found its way in. It's not too bad but it looks like somebody's not gone into it square before. As you can see, probably worth replacing. Although I don't have any spares of these so that's that. But now these two should come apart. There is one of the brake pads. As you can see, the metal scoring on them. There's the caliper carrier. And there is the other brake pad. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get the wire brush out, gonna clean up the caliper carrier and the caliper, gonna get the brake rewind tool out and rewind the caliper and yeah. 
So I'll just show you what I'm doing here quickly. So I'm just cleaning up the uh, caliper carrier. Um, just going to give it a wire brush and just clear it up. Now the way I like to do it is, once I've cleaned it up, put it back on, and then rebuild it from there. I've just realized uh, I've not changed the disc, um, so I'm going to change that now. Hang the caliper up on the spring. Gonna change that now, um, and then we can put the carrier back on. Now one thing you should do with new uh, brake discs is spray them down with brake cleaner. Just because they've got some sort of sealant on them to protect them while they're being shipped and stored and whatever. So just want to get that off, bit of brake cleaner and uh, wipe it down, you'll be good to go. But first I've got to get this big torx bolt out. That's a retaining screw for the brake disc. They can be a little bit stubborn, so this could be fun, but we'll find out. Happy days, doesn't want to play games today. And it's come straight out with all the threads and the head intact. Hopefully as you can see now, the discoloration, the blue colour, um, that's from the heat and then also the score marks. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that and I don't really know how to sort of show it but yeah you can really feel it um, there. So yeah like I said this was the worst corner again the back is a similar story this was the worst corner so yeah we're gonna install the new ones. So we're gonna put the new disc on now you're gonna want to avoid touching the contact surfaces which is here and on the back as well um, just because you don't want to get your dirt, dirty hands all over them. So we're going to push that into there. And then we're going to put that retaining screw back in. There we go. So now I'm going to put the caliper carrier back on. So now the caliper carrier is back on. I'm going to rewind the caliper. I'm just going to put some clear grease on these just to help them slide in properly. They're a bit awkward. So both pins are in. Just gonna put this back on now. So we're on the last side now, um, this is near side rear, um, Owen's done the front driver side, um, had to cut the retaining screw out um, just because it rounded off and couldn't get him out. I've done the back uh, driver side um, and like I said this is the last one. The screw's rounded here as well so we're going to have to cut that out again uh, before we can do anything else. One eternity later. So Owen's managed to grind the screw out so we can crack on, got the new disc in place, um, just need to put the pads in and rewind the caliper. So I'm going to do that now. So that's the caliper wound back, just going to put a bit of anti-seize on there. And the one with the metal plate on goes to the back.
So that's it, the brakes on Chelsea's car are done. Uh, we've done pads, discs and sensors, front and rear. Um, all went relatively smoothly. We had to cut two of the retaining screws off. The front passenger side came off a dream. Uh, the front driver's side had to be cut off. The rear driver's side wasn't there. Uh, and then the passenger rear had to be cut off too, as you saw. So yeah, a little bit of a pain, but not too bad in the new unit. Uh, it's been raining today. It's completely dry in here, obviously. We've been warm. We've got plenty of light. I mean, it's absolutely pitch black outside now. As you can see, it's absolutely pitch black out there now, although it looks lighter than it is because of the, uh, the lighting in here. But yeah, really pleased with how working in this space went today. Um, it was comfortable and warm, dry, that sort of stuff, as I said. So really happy with that. Um, it's exactly what we wanted and I can't wait to work on a few more cars in here. Hopefully my Mini will be up here soon when I can get a trailer to bring it up here. Um, and then we can start working on that, get it MOT'd and get it back on the road. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this style of video where you know I bring you along and show you what work we're doing on the cars. Um, although I'm not sort of showing you exactly how to do everything, but you're just getting the general feel for what we're doing. Um, let me know, as I said in the comments, if that's something you enjoyed. If you are new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me and we've just hit 500 subscribers. My target for the year was 300, so we've absolutely smashed that out of the park. Can we go for a thousand next year, maybe? So yeah, I hope you had a really great Christmas if you celebrate it. Hope you had a great time with your family and friends. Um, yeah, here's to 2022. Some more content in the awesome unit. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas Day special, by the way. Um, that took a lot of work and effort, so I really hope you liked it. But yeah, workshop diaries number one, complete.